What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome back to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and today we're building upon a video concept that I've done twice before. Once in the fall, a year ago, and once this summer, later some a few months ago. Today we're focusing on what you need in your winter closet. Let's jump right in and let's start with outerwear. The first piece I've got for you guys is a camel wool overcoat. Whether it's fall or winter, you're gonna need one of these in your closet because I think I've tried so many different things, but for anything over a suit, which your office doesn't care whether it's cold outside or not, and you might have to wear a suit or want to wear a suit, this is what you need up top. So a overcoat is always something that I think any guy should have in their closet in the fall and winter season. And the beauty of this is you can really dress it up, of course, but you can also dress it down with a pair of ripped jeans. Later on in the video, I'll show you a few looks that you can create with all the pieces that I'm about to show you. The second option for outerwear is a lot more focused on the winter season. We got a shielding jacket. This is a four shielding jacket from Zara and we've got a puffer jacket. This one is from Woolrich. And between the two, I wanted to include both, but they count as one piece because the one piece is the warm winter jacket that you need in your closet. I wanted to leave it up to you guys to see what you think fits your style a little bit better, but I think either way, you need to have something in your closet that will keep you warm. That's more on the casual side of things. So everything that I'm showing you guys today is actually mostly brown and blue and a little bit of gray. So either one of these works for me and I'm gonna show you a few outfit options at the end of the video with both of these jackets. Let's talk about what you wear underneath those jackets, the first two that we just covered. One thing I think every guy needs in his winter closet is a cable knit sweater like the one I'm wearing right now. I love cable knit sweaters. They're very unique in the design. They're classy but casual. They're cozy and warm. And this one's actually from Target from the Goodfellow brand, which I have recently turned into a big fan of. There's plenty of affordable options out there. There's plenty of different fabrications. So you guys really have a, like a ton of options to choose one of these guys. Next up, this replaces for me, in many cases, the dress shirt in the winter. Turtlenecks can be like this one fairly thin, so they fit really well underneath other things, including a suit, and it's a really warm and stylish option to switch out a dress shirt for a turtleneck. So this is basically what in the winter, in the deepest of winters when it's cold outside, what I wear with most suits. And speaking of shirts, I think a flannel shirt belongs into the winter closet as well. Once again, it's a lot about the warmth. The race fabric really does make a difference. They feel soft, they feel comfortable. Obviously, this is not something you would necessarily wear with a suit because they're too casual for that, but it's still a little bit more dressed up casual than say maybe just the sweater. So I wanted to include that as the third option for the top. Now I have mentioned it a couple of times already. Of course, you still need a suit in your wardrobe. For me, it should definitely be a wool suit. So this is kind of like a rougher fabric, which is also a little bit more of a thick suit. This one is from Brooks Brothers and an anthracite gray. I personally love this because it combines really well with blue colors. It combines really well with natural tones and it would even combine well with blacks, which I don't have included in the video today at all. Gray is ultimately versatile. And if you have a nice suit in your closet you can use both the pants individually as well as the jacket up top as a blazer and you can really have a little bit more fun and you can really get more versatility in your wardrobe just by getting a suit that is in itself more versatile if you've seen one of these videos before I always count the suit as one piece because it's a suit it's not suit jacket and suit pants but you already have one pair of pants in there let's continue talking about what other bottoms I think you should have in your winter closet and the first pair I'm wearing right now these are ripped casual skinny jeans from top man in a medium blue wash I absolutely love them. They're really casual, like I just said. For me, a little bit of a warm hue in the wash of the jean makes it really appropriate for the fall winter season. Obviously, it might get a little bit cold because of the holes. That's something I personally am willing to take because I rather would look good than be 5% warmer. That's my personal decision. You can also get distressed jeans that have that distressed look that don't actually have holes in them so you can avoid that. I also would like to include these. Every guy needs to have a pair of raw denim jeans in their closet no matter the season, whether it's spring, summer, fall, or winter. These walk the line between the super dressy suit pants that we saw at first and these ripped casual jeans that I'm wearing right now really well. A piece like this is essential to the concept that we're applying today where you're trying to build a wardrobe with just 12 pieces because versatility is number one and these are for me the ultimately versatile bottoms. I just pointed out my boots so let's talk about them. In the winter you will find me 95% of the time wearing boots. Sometimes it's high top sneakers, but most of the time it will be boots. I think every guy should have in their closet at least two pairs of boots, one that's more suited for a more suited look. <laughs> Pun wasn't intended, but I knew when I said it. Hmm. <laughs> 
one that is more suited for elegant looks and another that's just a little bit more casual. Obviously the ones I'm wearing right now are on the more casual side, they're brown leather Doc Martin boots. I love Docs, I always have. I think their unique aesthetic is just something that spoke to me for a really long time. Got my first pair three years ago and since then have been wearing them every winter. On the more dapper end, I of course wanted to mention my own brand, Ankari Flores, like these Chelsea boots. Significantly more elegant than what I'm wearing right now. We also have a few casual options in our lineup, but I wanted to offer a little bit of variety. You can see that they're both brown boots in essence, but they're so different in their design and how you can wear them that honestly, you can create such different looks just by switching out the footwear, as I'm hoping I get to show you guys later on. Coming up on the last two items in the winter wardrobe is a little bit more of a conceptual approach. You may have noticed there wasn't really many basics that I usually would include in this type of video and that's because I skipped out on the heat tech. You guys might know by now that I'm a huge fan of heat tech. In every winter video where I talk about what's important in the winter, heat tech comes up because with little fabric, just through applying a technology to that fabric, you really retain a lot of heat and it keeps you warm. Most of my base layers throughout the winter are just heat tech long sleeve t-shirts that are really simple just in all white or gray and that's how I make sure that I stay warm and that's what I would recommend to any and all of you guys. The last item which is also a category like heat tech was a category is cold weather accessories and that should go without saying and I'm not saying most guys out there don't already wear a scarf or a beanie or gloves. What I want to point out is that I think a lot of guys are missing out on the opportunity of actually making that an integral part of your outfit making it something that doesn't just keep you warm but actively enhances your outfit. The one thing that I do want to point out with that too is that you don't have to match it. I feel like sometimes guys, myself included in the past, I'm like, okay, I need like a navy beanie with a navy scarf and navy gloves or something like that. I think if you find pieces that are complementary, like brown leather gloves and then a cashmere beanie, it's like a little bit of an earth tone that works really well together. I'm gonna put this on. Looks weird without the jacket, but for right now, just I'm, I'm trying to make a point. And that is, you can even have a little bit of fun with a scarf like this one, a yellow knit scarf, where you'd be like, okay, that's kind of like a big statement to have as your one go-to scarf, but you're kind of tying it in because yellow is more of an earth color, or if that's too much for you, just go for a more simple option. But once again, it's not perfectly matched. It's just in the vicinity, like I said before, gray is a really versatile color, so that would be another option if you wanted to go for that one perfect scarf that you're gonna be wearing all winter long. And with that, let's look at a few of the outfits that I can come up with using those 12 pieces slash the two categories that I snuck in there. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Winter is officially about to begin on the calendar, so I'm hoping that if you don't already have all the pieces in your wardrobe, that this video inspired whatever last purchases you need to make to stay warm and stylish this winter. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, let me know your thoughts, questions, concerns, and of course, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to change that so you don't miss out on any of the videos coming up. One more time, thank you guys so much, happy holidays, and I'll see you very soon with the next one. Stay dapper. Always do without... <laughs>